So next we're going to learn foam rolling. This is a form of soft tissue release. We are going to learn another form with some of our rad rounds and our balls. But this is a really beneficial exercise. You'll hear a lot of pros and cons to foam rolling. Personally, I like it because it feels good and it makes my body feel like I'm preparing for a movement. It feels like I'm getting my blood flowing and it's almost a little, um, a nice little intro into my movements for the day. However, for you guys, it's important to learn how to do this to release tension in muscles that are really needing it, okay? Because when we're holding tension in certain areas, especially some of the areas that we're going to target today with the foam roller, then it can often lead to compensation patterns and cause lower back pain. So, foam rolling, okay? Let's start with our butt. I think that's the easiest place to start. So you're actually gonna take the foam roller and you're gonna sit on it, okay? And you can go on your hands and your feet are touching the ground, okay? And now what I want you to do, you're right now in the middle of the sacrum, I want you to turn a little bit to the side, okay? Angle to the side that you want to release, you're going to kind of roll into it. And I want you to make sure you're getting the entire butt cheek from all the way where it starts at your hip, okay? This is your iliac crest, all the way down to the bottom of the butt cheek, okay? The whole thing, making sure you're getting it. And I just want you to roll forwards and backwards. If you find a really good spot, you can hang on there for a little while, breathe into it. Imagine breathing air into that location where it's tight. You can also cross the opposite leg over to get it out of the way. And the other option is to actually cross the leg that you're working on. And this, you're gonna wanna actually lean into your hip a little bit more. It's gonna help with getting into some of the rotators of the glutes in the hip, okay? We got deep six, they're all rotators of the hip. And we're just going to give them a nice little massage. I personally can't afford a massage therapist every single week, so it's important that I keep up with this myself to keep my pain in check. So we're gonna move over to the other side. Again, first just doing a normal back and forth, the whole butt cheek from top to bottom. You can go in little sections at a time and move down, or you can do the entire thing at once, but making sure you're getting into all the crevices and all the angles. There's no wrong way to foam roll. Anywhere you have muscle, you can foam roll. We just want to make sure we're staying off of joints, um, joint capsules, the back of the joint. You don't want to roll over the back of the knee. With the glute here, we want to try to stay off of the sacrum, okay? So that bony triangle right at the top of that butt, you want to stay off of that, so side to side, okay? And then we can cross the leg over the same side that I'm working on and get into all those rotators of the hip there making sure you're getting all the way from side to side. What I like to tell my clients, you guys, is that imagine someone's coming in and they're gonna paint the walls of your house. You don't want them to miss a spot. That's exactly what I want you to think about when you're foam rolling. Don't miss a spot, okay? Awesome, that's the butt cheeks. Okay, so now we're going to learn how to foam roll the hamstrings. This is actually not an area I want you guys to focus on. There's many other areas that are much more important. However, I do want you guys to relieve a little bit of tension and get some blood flow going into the hamstrings. So I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see. Okay, so with the hamstrings, we're coming to the bottom of the butt, okay? And then we're just going to roll backwards onto the hamstrings. You can cross one leg over the other to add pressure and tension so that you can get a little bit of a better and a deeper roll. Okay, and again, not missing a spot on your walls. So I'm starting, kind of rotate it off to the side. I'll get the middle, and then I'll get the inside. Okay, that medial inside, closer to the midline, that medial hamstring. And we'll move over to the other side, same thing. I'm just gonna start with the medial. We'll go to the middle hamstring, and then the lateral hamstrings off to the side. Great job.